All righty. G'day, Fitwell members, subscribers, um, and those who are interested in all things uh, movement, business, and wellness. Uh, I've got here with me today um, Rawdon Dubois, who is one of the contributors, presenters on the Fitwell platform. Uh, Rawdon has his own technique, um, and we call it the Dubois method, or he calls it Dubois method. Um, yes. We'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, he's from Sydney. He's a great guy, and it's awesome having him be a contributor on the platform. So welcome, Rawdon. Thanks, Tarek. It's uh, it's my pleasure to be involved. I've um, you know, been uh, hanging around, uh, riding on uh, the Dave Walsh and Driscoll's coattails there, a couple of the guys behind Fitwell, but uh, this, uh, I guess, latest venture is uh, very exciting, mate. It's, it's good to be part of it. Beautiful. Yeah, and no, we're glad to have you on, mate. And obviously, you, you know, the, the the two days quite well over the years and um, yeah. pleasure getting to know you more and more. So, um, for myself and the audience, tell us a little bit more about your journey um, into, into fitness uh, over the last sort of few years. Yeah, I, well, I uh, served my time at a commercial uh, gym. Uh, fitness First is where I earned my stripes for a couple of years and then went uh, into a, a private company, Clean Health. If anyone knows Clean Health, uh, I worked uh, through there, worked my way up through the ranks. I managed to club there for a bit and um had a, a really enjoyable time there and learned uh, a lot from obviously being in that environment and started to get into some physique prep being part of clean health. That's one of the things that the, that company did back in the day. And, um, and then left, uh, pursued just the exclusive physique prep on my own and created the Dubois method, which is just my way of doing things. It kind of sounds funky, but uh, it's just, yeah, physique prep the way I think it. um, is a uh, is I guess a, a way to do it is is how I do it, and yeah, exclusively did physique prep, so athletes for the competition stage or professional photo shoots, and that's kind of then where I've ended up where I am today, just doing uh, physique prep exclusively, predominantly online, uh, not so much uh, one on one PT. I'll do a little bit of that still with some diehard fans that <laughs> want to do what they do with me, but. Predominantly um, designing nutrition, uh, supplementation, resistance training programs to maximize hypertrophy and and um, or fat loss, depending on uh, where the athlete is in prep and dialing them in, getting ready for the competition stage and and or professional photo shoots. So you got to kind of hand in hand, a lot to shoots and and compete at the same time. Uh, a lot of the, the the demographic I work with are coaches and PTs themselves. I think, um, you know, I like to kind of see how I do it and then they go away and apply it themselves and get involved in physique prep as well. So it's kind of cool helping our colleagues along the way too. But that's pretty much what I do and a very, very brief overview of, of how it started and where I ended up, uh, where I am today based in Sydney, doing what I do. Yeah, mate. Yeah, thanks for, for sharing uh, that uh, that part of your journey. And and that sort of led you in, I suppose, to, you know, having having had, some experience coaching clients, athletes, but then mentoring trainers. So that sort of propelled you more into the education space and and, and hence the, the, the fit world journey. So tell us a little bit more about perhaps where you're at now with being a, an educator, mentor, and, and where you perhaps want to take it as well. Yeah, I, I, I've, I've kind of been, um, I've been mentoring myself and I still do. There's still a few uh, the men of Henselmans of the world. I've been doing some stuff with Dr. Scott Stevenson. Uh, these are guys that I think if you're interested in in uh, learning are, are well and truly worth uh, their weight in gold. Broderick Chavez is another whom we were discussing before we uh, went on air. So I still do mentoring myself with, with many others and one of my hashtags is uh, always learning. So I, yeah, have, over the years have been approached. Uh, one of the roles I had at Clean Health was was kind of a, an educational role there for a bit. So I went down that path, I suppose, through Clean Health and it, it, Clean Health initially. And then um, it's flowed on from there. And I've mentored and still mentor uh, some coaches regularly every week. They kind of check in with me and we go through different topics. A lot of them are, yeah, they're working with physique athletes themselves and they just want to spin things off me in certain scenarios. And I, and I mentor them that way others book in sort of consults and, and pick my brain. And I guess one of the uh, things that I've tried to do over the years is, is I've done lots of courses and seminars myself. And early on, I did more of that type of thing. But these days, I tend to seek out individuals and, 
and just pay them what they want for the hour and, and you know, target in on specific topics that I want to cover. Um, and one of the things that I had issues with is some of the, 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 you know, the coaches that I wanted to learn from, they just, you know, it's like, nope, <laughs> you know, work with me for 12 months and you can learn what I do. And which is a great way to learn. And I think that's what a lot of the coaches I coach for the competition stage like to do. They immerse themselves in the whole process. And that is, you know, fundamentally a great way to learn too. But some of them were, they weren't going to give away their secrets. And that's one of the things that I don't do. I, I, I'm quite transparent and I, and I talk about everything I do. You know, you buy me a coffee and, you know, pay me for the hour and I'll, I'll cover whatever topics you want. Uh, so I guess that's kind of what I've been doing over the years is, that type of mentoring and and um, I've done different seminars. We're talking about this again, and you said it's, you've been involved in in seminars and creating them and, and being part of them. And there's quite a bit that goes on behind the scenes. Um, we're in the process of organising Roderick Chavez to come out to Australia, and uh, that will be in October. So going through you know, finding a venue, and then we'll start promoting the, the seminar. And we actually did that. We combined with uh, Flex Success, another uh a group uh, of coaches and uh, uh, an entity in the industry that are well and truly worth following uh we bought uh uh out a few years ago and it was uh yeah you know, we had you know seminars we had 110 uh coaches uh come to the seminar from it was in sydney and they came from melbourne down from queensland came over from perth and it was the this you know extravaganza it was absolutely amazing so i kind of enjoy doing that and because I do mentor, I, I'm always sort of upskilling and, and trying to upskill myself and, and learning, reading, watching a lot on YouTube. It's a great resource, I find. And, you know, things like Fitwell, it's another great resource that, that you could tap into, absolutely. But like I said, always learning. And I guess that's where I am now. And the, I guess the future is I'm creating a bit of a uh, you know, membership site and I'm going to create content for that. Uh, similar to what I've done for you guys at Fitwell. And that is where I would like to uh, take this, this men mentoring or educational side of things. I still like keeping uh, my hands uh, in, in the mix and keeping, you know, uh, in the, the, the coaching world. So I, I certainly don't want to give that up. And I love, you know, getting an athlete and uh, taking them from somewhere that doesn't look anything like they could compete to being able to compete. I don't discriminate, you know, I, I have a bit of a checklist that, that I'll work with an athlete and if they tick all the boxes, I'll work with whomever, you know, and it's not like, well, you're not good enough for me, I'm not going to work with you. It's kind of, this is what I do. If you can agree to, to these uh, fundamentals, then I'll happily coach you. And that's very rewarding seeing, seeing that process unfold. And um, yeah, so that's that's ultimately what I'd like to do, Tarek, is is have this, this membership side and create content for that and just keep educating myself and and uh, live happily ever after doing what I do. I I'm very blessed to be able to do what I do in the industry, I must say. You know, it's, it's kind of, it doesn't feel like work, you know. I just mentor, coach, you know, do a bit of research. It's it's it's, it's great, man. I, I, I thoroughly enjoy the industry. I'm thankful for the opportunity to do what I do on a daily basis. Yeah, it's wonderful, mate. It's, it's a sign of uh, true leadership, the, the humility and uh, always be learning, you know, is mm. it? is a very, very healthy state of, of someone who leads others. So I applaud you for that, mate, and uh, definitely resonates with me and I'm sure many others who are listening or, or watching in uh, on, your, on your amazing words. Now, um, a little bit more, if you may, on your involvement on Fitwell. So um, obviously it's, it, Fitwell is a subscription-based platform. It's more than that, more than on demand because we're having we're merging live events like we, uh, monthly Q&As and quarterly workshops and involving great, you know, people in their specialised field like yourself. Um, so tell us a little bit more about your, your topic um, and, and what, what, what the subscribers can, can expect. Well, uh, Tarek, I went through uh, hypertrophy, basically. So that's something that interests me. Obviously, working with physique athletes, one of the criteria for be it a, a bikini athlete or an open bodybuilder, you know, they have to get a certain amount of muscle mass uh, to be competitive in their division. So that's kind of what I uh, fascinates me and, and what I'm really interested in. And a lot of, uh, I guess, the, the education that I seek is, is around hypertrophy and how to maximize it through nutrition, supplementation and training. And um, 
so that's that's kind of where we went with uh, with my uh, initial presentation anyway. And from there, it'll be program design and and you know specific physique prep and peaking and all that type of stuff. I would say, uh, but initially, the first series is a um, a, a, a brief uh, uh, overview of the the key fundamental. Uh, concepts of of how to maximize hypertrophy from uh, you know what is it you know the different types of hypertrophy uh, you know light load training heavy load training what is best you know exercise selection um, frequency uh, of training body part you know uh, volume just all the all the, the things that I deem are kind of important from a uh, coaching perspective when you are looking. Uh, trying to build as much muscle as, as possible for an individual, be it an athlete for a physique show or just anyone that's trying to build muscle. All the, you know, muscle is muscle. It, it, it doesn't have emotion, doesn't discriminate. It's kind of, it's all the same. It's just that a physique athlete might be trying to do a little more and they might take it a little more uh, uh, seriously, so to speak. But it's not to say that the, the concepts are any different. So it's kind of applicable to everyone. Yeah, brilliant. I like that you've sort of tied that in. I wanted to clarify it's you're not just coaching athletes, but you know, it's it's anyone who wants to choose yeah, yeah. or a transformation of sorts. So I think yeah. that's cool. mm. yeah, and that and to be honest, Eric, that's what you know, the words that come out of most people's uh, mouths when they when they're actually getting shaped, it's kind of like, yeah, I'd like to get that that beach body and yeah, maybe I'd like to look like I could do a comp, but I don't want to do a comp. You know, I just want to get shredded, have a six pack. It's kind of the same thing, you know. Um, not everyone wants that, but but most are uh, uh, seeking that kind of physique that's that's uh, comfortable on the beach. And everyone's version of comfortable is different, sure. But yeah, it's kind of all the same. The difference is, you know, a physique athlete would take it that that last, you know, uh, four to six weeks and, and really dial things in and then they would peak and get, you know, the theatrics of jumping up on stage or doing the shoot. But, you know, to get to a point at that six to eight week out mark, it's all kind of the same. It's it's getting the energy balance right and the lifestyle right and, and getting the training program design that's effective and so on and so forth. It's kind of, yeah, it's, it's just the degree of application that might be a little different for a physique athlete compared to, to a general population just trying to get in shape and improve their health and fitness kind of uh, individual. Got it. Yeah, thanks for clarifying that. And no doubt you've piqued the interest in, in, in some of the listeners and perhaps pricked the ears of those who are wanting to explore more about you, mate, and the Dubois Method. So I encourage those um, who don't know much uh, about this area to, to really reach out. Um, check out the, you know, the FitWall platform. There's 14 days free trial, so you can certainly dabble once we've got uh, Rawdon's session up live uh, very soon. And we are, what, already July 2022. Um, so if, you, if you're watching this down the track many years later, um, Rawdon's probably done a whole heap of, you know, uh, other other great things. And no doubt, no doubt that you will, mate. So, mate, it's a pleasure um, chatting with you and, and having you on board the FitWall platform. The pleasure is mine, Tarek. I, I can't wait to uh, get stuck into all the other topics that um, have loosely been discussed with uh, the Daves. And it's like, oh, we could do this and, and, and we could do that, and but we'll do this first. So, yeah, I, and, and I, I really try and um, put it into uh, a real simple way to um, get your head around the different concepts. It's, it's not chock filled with, with, with scientific references or anything like that. They're all things that you can hopefully be prompt prompt thought and consideration you can go seek out references and whatnot it's just kind of my interpretation of things at this point in time so hopefully that comes across in a way that uh, is really easy to understand for the the guys and girls that are watching no beautiful they want a deep dive they certainly can appreciate you laying laying that uh, platform as well um so wait we all look forward to to seeing you uh, on the platform uh, me included and uh if they want to find you on instagram or facebook what's the handle it's just the Dubois method or Rawdon Dubois. Uh, you can hit me up on uh, Facebook. Yeah, come to uh, City Gym at uh, Darlinghurst, buy me a coffee. I'll happily chat with you. Uh, but, yeah, just Instagram, Facebook, the Dubois method, Tarek. Wonderful. We're going to put this in the uh, outro slide as well. So for those who are listening or then watching it, you can follow Rawdon um, and, and catch up for a coffee with him for sure. Uh, if- That's all right. <laughs> all, all right, Tarek. Right, Pleasure, man. Adios, amigos. <laughs>